Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system, after Jupiter. It is a gas giant with an average radius of about nine and a half times that of Earth. Saturn's interior is most likely composed of a core of iron nickel and rock, silicon and oxygen compounds. Its core is surrounded by a deep layer of metallic hydrogen, an intermediate layer of liquid hydrogen and liquid helium, and finally, a gaseous outer layer. Saturn has a pale yellow hue due to ammonia crystals in its upper atmosphere. An electrical current within the metallic hydrogen layer is thought to give rise to Saturn's planetary magnetic field, which is weaker than Earth's, but which has a magnetic moment 580 times that of Earth due to Saturn's larger size. The planet's most notable feature is its prominent ring system, which is composed mainly of ice particles, with a smaller amount of rocky debris and dust. At least 83 moons are known to orbit Saturn, of which 53 are officially named, this does not include the hundreds of moonlets in its rings. Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in the solar system, is larger than the planet Mercury, although less massive, and is the only moon in the solar system to have a substantial atmosphere. Saturn is the only planet of the solar system that is less dense than water, about 30% less. Saturn's rings are not the placid, smooth raceways they appear to be. They are dynamic. The rings are constantly being bombarded by the solar wind, sunlight pressure, gas drag, internal collisions and micrometeorites. Scientists have even heard ring tones in radio frequencies coming from meteorite impacts, and the visible spokes may be their signatures. Yet the ice is remarkably clean compared to the predicted contamination from billions of years of micrometeorite pollution. And scientists recently found the trail of a billion-ton comet that must have hit the rings in the 1980s. Saturn has incredibly strong lightning storms, aurorae, a phenomenal vortex at its south pole that could almost swallow Earth, and a bizarre hexagon-shaped pattern of clouds at the north pole. Saturn's auroral displays are caused by an energetic wind from the sun that sweeps over the planet, much like the Earth's aurora that is occasionally seen in the nighttime sky and similar to the phenomenon that causes fluorescent lamps to glow. But unlike the Earth, Saturn's aurora is only seen in ultraviolet light that is invisible from the Earth's surface, hence the aurora can only be observed from space. New Hubble images reveal ripples and overall patterns that evolve slowly, appearing generally fixed in our view and independent of planet rotation. As different as Saturn is from Earth, the two planets have some similarities, one of which is the presence of jet streams. Saturn's most famous and most visible jet stream, however, is far different from those of Earth. It's called the hexagon. The hexagonal jet stream around Saturn's North Pole was first observed by the Voyager mission in the early 1980s. Cassini began studying it during Saturn's northern winter, when the hexagon was in shadow. At the time, Cassini observed the great, six-sided jet stream in the infrared, sensing the heat coming from within the planet. Over time, as Saturn's north entered spring, Cassini imaged the hexagon in visible wavelengths of light, revealing a stunningly symmetric shape 20,000 miles or 30,000 kilometers across with winds at around 200 miles per hour or 322 kilometers per hour. No one really knows what drives it. On Earth, mountain ranges and other features of the planet's surface cause jet streams to bend and kink, but Saturn has no such obstacles jutting into its atmosphere, so the jet stream just keeps flowing, orderly and hexagonal. But questions still remain. Why isn't it five-sided? Why isn't there another one in the south? What drives it? 